There is my shirt. My lucky shirt. Find my lucky shirt. Shirt. My lucky shirt. Not in here. Oh, oh. not in here. You are such a freaking loser. Look at my place. I gotta find my lucky shirt. She, what, what lucky shirt? Look at my, wh wh where are you going? You need to clean up this place. This is disgusting. That's my shirt. Oh God, oh, no, uh, no. This There's... is my smell. That's my stain. Oh God, that's so disgusting. This, this Take is it my, off. No, this is my place. So everything Take that off belongs. Take off the shirt. No. No, no. No. Over there. No, I'm not taking off your shirt. This is mine. Please. Absolutely not. You're gonna clean up this place before you go anywhere. I'll make you, you a deal. You barely even pay rent here. What kind of deal? Three bottles of wine, one shirt. Three bottles of wine? Uh-huh. Fine. It's all yours. Take it off. Not here. Over there. Oh, fine. Hey girl, what's up? Hey, just calling to see what you're up to. Nothing. I'm actually getting ready for a date. I can't believe you're going to go on this blind date. I mean, this guy could be a killer for all you know. <laughs> Look, I'll be alright. The movie is in the afternoon. There's going to be plenty of people around. Okay, I know, but you two are going to the movies first, and it's dark in there, and not many people do afternoon movies. I'm just saying, you guys might be in there alone. Don't worry. Look, I'll bring my pepper spray. If he tries anything, he's going to get it straight in the eye. I'll be all right. Okay, well, he better get it straight in the eye, and, uh, you know, what would you do without me? I would be less paranoid. Yeah. I'm gonna get me some. <laughs> yes, good. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I am so sorry I'm late. <laughs> That's alright. I got here like five minutes ago. But you know, it is real important to get the right shirt. Oh, really? Okay. Well, your shirt looks good. <laughs> let's go see the movie. I heard it's awesome. I did too. After you, my lady. Alright, let's go. Checking me out. Yeah. yeah. When I first met him, I thought he was a cool guy. I mean, he could have told his sister he was four foot two inches tall. But other than that, you know. And I'm, you know, I was looking forward to meeting him. I was open to trying vanilla. It would be my first time trying vanilla. So, you know, we'll see where it goes. Real pretty. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Did you see the cans of that girl? <laughs> oh man, did you see the curves? I mean, she had curves. It was like a big bumper, like, like a big semi truck. Like I was like, I want to ride that semi truck. <laughs> well, during the movie, God, he talked through the whole movie. That was the only thing. He just, you know, it was like he was telling the movie before it happened. I hate when people do that. That movie was crazy. 
I can't believe the girlfriend was the killer. <laughs> I know. I was surprised too. It was a really good movie. She killed her husband and she killed her girlfriend, and I was not expecting that. I was glad when he killed the girlfriend. She was annoying. Well, I didn't think she was that bad. I've got a friend that's like her. I think she was misunderstood. Wait, you got a friend like that? Yeah. Then she's annoying. She's not annoying. You don't even know her. How can you say that? You're right. I don't know her. But I'd like to know her. What does that mean? What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just wondering how much further to the restaurant. Oh. Over there! <laughs> All right, Napoleon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know, I believe it's important for people to speak on somebody when they actually know them. You know, you, you talk about people and you never really met them or interacted with them. You can't speak from the heart. So, and she's really dear to me. She's a really good friend. She's important to me. So, I wasn't feeling that. You are going to love the hot dogs. They are, how you say, magnifique. Hot dogs? I thought we were going to a restaurant. So you sure know how to treat a girl to a good meal, don't you? Thank you. I don't know what these girls are talking about. They're always like, hot dogs are too immature for a first day. So you bring all your days to the hot dog truck? Oh, the special ones. Okay, lucky, lucky me then. The hot dog thing. Can you believe he bought me this for dinner? This is what he bought me. You know, like, I have nothing against hot dogs. It's just I've come too far in my life. I've worked too hard to settle for some, to settle for this. You look real nice today. Uh, thank you. I saw your profile and I knew I wanted to go out with you. Well, your profile was interesting too. It's pretty unique. You know, most guys say things like, uh, I'm six feet tall, I make a hundred a year, I drive a Benz, as if that's the only thing women want nowadays. Yeah, those guys are self-centered little jerks. Your profile says you like music. What kind of music you like? Oh, I love music. I listen to just about everything, but if I would have to say my favorite, it would definitely be rap and pop. Rap? You like rap music? Yes. I love rap music. I listen to Drake, J. Cole, Jay-Z. I got them all on my iPod. You seem like you're surprised. Um, yeah, it's just that your profile kind of gave off a different vibe. I thought you were a little more conservative. Well, I mean, you would get to know more about somebody on the date, like this one. You can't base, you can't judge somebody based off their profile. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'm getting some today. You're right. I hate when people judge me by the way I look. You know what? Let's just focus on our inner beauty, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. Uh-uh. No. I agree. Getting to see the beauty in people first is important. <sighs> Goodness. Well, on your profile, it says that you went to UCLA. I went there, too. Oh. What was your major? Business. Oh, okay. What was the focus? Management. All right. What year did you graduate? I didn't graduate. I dropped out on my sophomore year. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, don't be. I don't need that for my kind of business. Oh, so you do have your own business? Not yet. I'm working on it. Okay. Well, what kind of business are you trying to start? Marijuana dispensary. <laughs> A marijuana dispensary? Mm -hmm. All right. How long have you been working on this? Four years, but enough about me. 
What kind of work do you do? Well, I work for a bank. I'm a loan officer. Oh, I hate banks. They're like always charging me for overdraft fees. What a bunch of crooks. You need to find another job. Well, what do you do for a living since you're not selling weed? I work for the phone company. Oh, okay, so basically you're overcharging people, service sucks. Can you tell me why that is? You have an attitude. No, I don't have an attitude. It's just funny how you're not how your profile portrayed you to be. Your profile was misleading too, Miss Photoshop. You I've, know what? I've seen your Facebook. I see how many selfies you take. And it's clear to me that you're nothing but a lazy weed head. You know, you're trying to judge me for being a smart, independent woman. I pay my own bills. I have my own place. You probably still live at home with your mom. You are so wrong. I don't live with my mom. I live with my sister. Oh, is it? That's so much better. You know, you sound like a broke snoop. You know, I want to sell weed for a living. Get out of here, please. You're right about that. I think I will get out of here. I've got a bus to catch. You know what? I'm glad I didn't park too far from here. You're not the type of man to walk a woman to her car. I'm out. Hell no.